Hey Starseeds! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lavender Lay. You can call me Lavender, you can call me Lay, whichever that you choose. And welcome back to my channel where I do anime themed tarot readings. And I also post um, shorts of like my cosplays and stuff and makeup looks if you want to check those out as well. But thank you for joining me for this reading super early in the morning when I'm filming this so if I yawn don't mind me but um yeah welcome to today's video we're going to be looking into either I haven't decided yet if this is going to be what's next in love or how they're feeling about you I'm leaning more towards how they're feeling about you um just because the theme is going to be based on the anime um, Tomo-chan is a girl, which the whole thing is about trying to figure out one of the main characters, like two of the main characters, how they feel about each other. Um, super cute anime. Check it out. You'll love it just for one of the characters alone. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be using two tarot decks to get those messages and then some oracle cards to get um, further messages and some advice. Um, so yeah, let's get into it with group one, is, which is going to be Tomo, uh, group two is going to be Misuzu, and group three is going to be Carol. So take a moment, pause the video, choose whichever character calls to you the most. Um, you can also use a number generator, one through three, to pick whatever group, um, and the timestamps will be down below. So. Yeah, let's get into it. Hey group one, if you chose Tomo, then this is your reading. How they feel about you. I decided to just go with how they feel about you because I feel like that's the net. My anime themed reading is really themed. <laughs> Especially if you've seen that anime, Tomo Chan is a girl. Super cute anime. Love it so much. Um, but yeah, let's get into how they feel about you. So we're gonna pull some tarot cards first. Um, just see where their headspace is at. Um, I'll pull further tarot cards um, to see maybe like what's going to be their next action. Um, and then I'll also get some messages. Um, with my love oracle. I'll see what their zodiac sign is with the moonology and then um, get some final advice about the situation with the be um, beyond the surface oracle. So let's get into it. How are they feeling about you right now? So if you want to know, see what these decks are, um, I'll put them down below. We got Temperance first. So they're kind of feeling like they're trying to be patient about you. Yeah, they're holding themselves back <laughs> when it comes to their feelings. Um, I don't know, maybe they're waiting for the right moment to tell you, and so they're like patient and holding themselves back, like, no, I can't do this yet, I can't tell them, I can't tell them, um, which is weird, because I'm just like, well, you're asking about them, so it's just like, what are they holding back for? Uh, but you know, people have their reasons. As to why. But the hermit, yep, they're just like, I'ma just isolate myself. I'm not gonna tell them nothing. I'm gonna just go stay patient. Maybe they're waiting for you to make a move. That would make sense. They're like, I'm not gonna do ish until group one does something. You've got the two of wands, the queen of cups, and the king of pentacles. 
Let's see what's at the back of the deck. The strength card. That's a cute strength card. Makes me think of um, Lion from Steven Universe. So yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, I feel like they're really holding themselves back. Like they have something that they can offer you, obviously. But as far as like figuring figuring out like what your feelings are, it's like they're kind of clueless. Um, so they're just like, nope, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna hold back. I'm wait till they say something to me, and then I'll make a move. Um, But there is feelings here, you know, because we've got the Queen of Cups. So they do have feelings for you. Love to see that. They're waiting to see if you have feelings for them. Um, so I would kind of like, well, let me wait until the day of ice to say anything. But what I, what I want to say is like, maybe you should make the first move, but I wouldn't just, yeah, let me pull more cards and like, let's see. Cause maybe in what's in their next actions, maybe they will make the first move. So, let's see. What is this person's next actions towards group one? What are they gonna do How about these feelings? We've got the Queen of Wands. Let's see if you can see them. What's their next action towards group one? What are they gonna do about these feelings, spirit? <laughs> yeah, they've got all this passion for you, but they're still not going to do anything. I just... That's wild to me, because I'm just like, yo, what are you so scared of? What are you so afraid of? Like, okay, the worst that you could... Because the worst that you could say is no, you know? Like, oh no, I, I don't like you like that. But then it's just like, okay... It's too bad. Um, move on. But I guess maybe they're just a little too afraid of the rejection. What's our next action, Spirit? Can I get any more cards on what the next action is? There we go. Eight of Wands. That's confusing. So something's coming in fast. But they're still kind of probing back. Maybe, maybe they're going to do something like to get a feeler of like how you feel about them. Like do something cute. To see how you feel about them and like if you're if you're like um receptive to it then they'll be like okay yeah well, let me go ahead <laughs> i'm sorry if you hear background noise um i'm in my son's room and it's raining so it just became like a torrential downpour but what's the next action let's keep one Let's do next action. I'm gonna take that. Ace of Cups. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. I feel like they're going to, like, offer you something, like, a little bit of emotion. Um, not quite, like, they're not going to come out of hermit mode completely, right? They're just going to like give you a little inkling of like how they're feeling. Um, do some, like I said, do something cute. Um, 
just to see what you're feeling. So maybe they feel a little, a little conflicted about doing this action. Ace of Swords. They're afraid, I think they're a little bit afraid of the truth. Like they want to give it to you, but they're a little bit afraid. Let's see, can you give me one more card? What's their next action? Towards group one. I almost got to group three again. try and do something in a group first and see like or have a friend help them um before they just go like full force like okay yeah let me ask this person out but let's see can we get any additional messages about how this person feels about group one please Any additional messages about how this person feels about group one? Showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Yeah, they're not showing their true feelings. It's like they don't feel ready. They're talking, interested in conversing more. Or interested, conversing more, awaited message, arrives, text, call, email, hovering. Or hovering. Maybe they're talking to other people about what's going on. Yep, runner. Runner and a codependent. They're fearing the intimacy. And we've got a love call. Something expresses love, thinking of you and letting you know. Yes, Mochi. Any other messages, Spirit? This, how is this person feeling about group one? There we go. Runner chaser. Maybe they're fearing because of past relationships um, that this relationship will end up the same way. Yes, Mochi. And they don't want it to. But they do want to express their love for you. They want to talk more with you. They want to, I feel like they don't want to like have to pretend about their feelings. 
they just have so much fear when it comes to like expressing these feelings because of previous relationships but let's see if we can get their zodiac sign so we can get you some confirmation on who this person is though i feel like based on the pre what i've said previously you should kind of know who this person is um because i feel like this is so specific Oh gosh, and they're fighting. Okay. Let's see. Can you give us any hint to what their zodiac sign is, Spirit? Any hint to their zodiac sign? Who is this person, Spirit? Reveal them. as far as like the um the cards based on like the major arcana that came out we've got sagittarius and virgo um double virgo and aquarius because the star so that resonates could be their sun moon rising or even venus there we go. Full moon eclipse. We're actually having a full moon eclipse soon. So maybe you'll find out by then, which is, that's Friday? It, the 5th. It's going to be on the 5th. Um, May 5th. But this is a timeless reading, so uh, whenever you watch this, it could be whenever... Um, there could be a full moon happening near near that time, but um, as I'm filming this, we're supposed to have a full moon eclipse in um, Scorpio. So that could also be their sign. They could be a Scorpio. So we're gonna take some of these cards, move them over. So we've got personal issue reaches resolution. Adjustments are required, collusions are in reach, believe in the impossible, and hold your vision. So, I feel like there's like, don't, like, don't give up on this connection. Things are going to be working out soon. There's just a few things that have to be adjusted, um, maybe on your person's part. Maybe it might be their thinking. Um, especially because we've got the personal issue reaches resolution, so maybe they've got something going on in their personal life that they gotta res they gotta resolve first, and then everything will fall into line. So let's get some final advice from. Make sure I'm not holding these upside down. Some final advice from the. Beyond the surface, below the surface, not beyond, below the surface. Let's see. Spirit, can you give us any final advice? Group one. Hi, Mochi. Can you give us any final advice for group one? Just for fun. Don't take life too seriously. Yeah, even, even if you're waiting for this person to like say what they feel you know make sure you're still having fun don't like sit around and wait for them they will come to you on their own time let your heart lead you you hold an internal roadmap a whale shark i love whale sharks um but yeah let your heart lead you you know don't feel like you gotta 
like I said don't feel like you gotta sit sit around and wait for this person if you feel led somewhere else then go somewhere else we've got healing trauma dissolve the chains of age-old pain and we've got everything serves a purpose give thanks to your body so yeah take this time heal any trauma that you might be going through um like this little card says i am worthy you are worthy you're very worthy and you're more worthy than you realize so you know don't let the old things don't let that age-old pain like it says chain you down to a certain mindset like you you are worthy you deserve everything and you have so much to thank your body for because everything like it says everything serves a purpose you have so much that you could be doing for yourself and like it like it also says don't take life too seriously um let yourself have fun for once what do you find fun um like for example i've been what i've been doing lately is taking myself to the movies because before i used to feel like oh you know going to the movies that's something you do with people like you go you and a group of friends or something like that or you go on a date and you go to the movies now i've been taking myself to the movies because it's just like i'm not waiting for somebody to want to go and see a movie with me especially because these movies don't stay in the theaters for very long. Like, I go and I get my large popcorn, I get my little drink, and I go and I sit and um, I pick, I usually pick the theaters that have the little reclining chairs, and I sit back, I relax, put my feet up, eat my popcorn, watch the movie. Um, which I'll probably do today because they got a $5 movie and one of my, um, I'm pretty sure this, it was a made from a book from my childhood um hello god it's me are you there it's me margaret that's coming out and i'm pretty sure we're supposed to get like a five dollar um ticket or something like that so i'll probably like use that and go and um go see that movie but yeah so do what makes you feel you know super excited um mochi is rooting rooting for you with her little cute little meows um but yeah that's all that i have for you guys thank you guys so much for tuning into this video if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below tell me how this resonated for you i would love all the piping hot tea in the comments um if you haven't already subscribe to my channel i'm trying to hit uh 350 subscribers before the end of the month we're almost we're, by the time that i'm posting this we're so close to 300 i think i'm about five subscribers away and i'd really appreciate your support um find me on other social medias um the links are down below and also if you're looking for a personal reading i have personal readings up on my etsy shop which will be linked down below that is the only place that you can go and get a personal reading from me um because these scammers do be scamming um so yeah thank you guys so much again for letting me read your cards and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day hey group two if you picked me suzu um then this is your reading how they are feeling about you um because that's the reading that i decided to go with um, when I was doing group one. Um, so we're going to be using my first deck of tarot cards to see how they feel about you. Uh, my second deck of tarot to see what their next actions may be. Um, we'll get follow-up messages with my love oracle to see um, additional messages about how they feel about you. Um, we'll use a moonology to get possible zodiac signs and then we'll end with the below the surface um oracle to get some final advice yeah, let's get into this. by the way you guys are one of the coolest groups because misuzu is wonderful i love her um if you haven't watched up tomo chan as a girl 
is a great anime. I highly recommend it. Um, it's just, it's really, really funny. Um, but yeah, let's see. How is group two's person feeling about them? How is group two's person feeling about them? Ooh. We've got the fool, the king, and the queen of pentacles. Oh, love that for you. I feel like they're they're feeling like they want to keep this loop of faith. They want to offer you something. Did I say the king? That's a knight. Wow. Lots of pentacles energy. Um, either you or this person might be an earth sign. Um, I feel like this person is just like, all right, maybe I'm ready to take this leap of faith. I've been working on my money, getting my money up, um, doing all the things. Um, I might be ready to tell this person. I feel like they're trying to decide like how they tell you. They've got like multiple options of like ways that they could tell you. Cause like, look, there's a ring, um, a little dragon, a castle, a ghost, a little snake. Um, they don't know like what's the best way to tell you. Like I feel like they want to give you like a gift and tell you and they don't know what kind of gift to give you. So they're thinking about like, okay, what kind of gift do I get them? Um, I want to offer them something good. I want to offer them something nice. They're very anxious about this. They've got, they've got a lot of hope though. Here we go, the princess of pentacles. But they feel like whatever they give you won't be quite enough. But it's going to end up with happiness. They feel so happy about it, though. They, they, I feel like they're just excited to, like, finally tell you. And so they're feeling all these feelings, like, okay, I'm going to tell them. What am I going to do? Oh, I feel so anxious about this. What if they say, like, almost like, what if they say no? What if this is not going to be enough? Like... I feel like they're just worrying about like unnecessary things like as if like you're a materialistic person not not that they think of you as a materialistic person but they're just like because of society they're just like what if i don't give them like a good enough gift or something like that and then um it ruins everything or something like that but they want to take that leap of faith so don't get them wrong Ooh, too many Judgment as far as their actions. They're definitely going to be taking action though. So don't let their feelings like fool you. Eight of Swords. I think they're just held up by this decision. Justice, yeah. They're trying to make sure that everything's balanced. What's their next actions towards them? They're trying to juggle these things in their life, make sure everything's balanced, make sure they've gotten the right thing, make sure they've got everything set up correctly. I feel like they just really want this, like them telling you how they feel, they just really want it to go well. Like that's all they're asking for.
just more trying to make a decision. <laughs> and next action, spirit. I think they're gonna let go of whatever burden um, that they've had in trying to make this this decision. They're just gonna like let things flow and go as they may. Um, not to say that they won't be passionate about this. They're gonna bring a lot of passion into this, but they're trying to let go of that anxiety that they're feeling. They don't want it to like hold them back from actually doing something. Let's see, can we get any additional messages about how they feel, please? Any additional messages? We've got love call and the runner. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting me know sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking. Maybe they're looking at your social media to like see like what you're into and they're trying to like pick a gift piece on that or something like that. Um, they might have a fear that you may run away, like if they do something too much. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. So yeah, they might invite you somewhere. date they're going to invite you on a date <laughs> so they may like kind of like surprise you and be like hey um i want to take you somewhere like be ready by this time I love people who take those, that initiative you know um they just want to take you out give you this love offer There you go, yeah, abundance. Keep a positive mindset. They're trying to be positive about this and be grateful. Um, and just be, I feel like they're just excited about finally telling you. There we go, Pash, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other. So yeah, they're going to give you a call, ask you on a date, then, you know, give you a gift, ask you to be their partner, some um, partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever resonates for you. Um, and y'all are going to live in paradise and be, you know, abundant. Um, just give me one moment. But yeah, abundance. That's all. That's all you guys are getting. It's just, you know, living the dream. Love that for you guys. So let's get any final advice about this connection from the below the surface oracle. Here, what advice can I give to pile two about this connection? Just in general, whatever advice you can give them. There we go. We've got power of choice. Place your attention on gratitude. Yeah, so no matter what what happens, you know, make sure that you're coming from a gratitude mindset, like being grateful for an opportunity. Um, no matter like what happens because everything happens for a reason you know 
go for it. Strike when the iron is hot. So yeah, when this person asks you on another date, don't you hesitate. Don't you hesitate and be like, oh, I don't know. Strike while the iron's hot. You're gonna get this person. <laughs> Any other advice for it? Let's see. Your commitment is everything, even if that requires doing it alone. Yeah. Remember that you are a prize. They win you because you are such a wonderful person. Any other advice? You're such a wonderful person that deserves all the things. be gentle you know take steps back if needed um if things get a little overwhelming like don't feel like you can't take like a few steps back um but overall you know everything is going to work out just fine i would not worry not one bit don't hesitate oh my god i keep getting this message in my head do not hesitate when this person reaches out to you <laughs> um and based on like, oh, which reminds me, I forgot, I completely forgot to do the luminology. I was about to say, I'm like, you should know who this person is based on the zodiac signs, but I didn't even pull that for you. I am awful. <laughs> so let's see if we can get any zodiac signs. So we can get some confirmation on who this person is. Who is this person's spirit? New moon eclipse. There's a card carrying that card on the moon. That does not tell them who this person is. We need a zodiac sign, please. But there's a sign. Um, be bold in your first move. Maybe you should ask them out on a date. Because <laughs> they're being too indecisive. But it makes a powerful change. Um, Maybe this relationship is going to do a lot of things for you. New moon and Gemini. So there might be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If I remember correctly, we've got the star earlier, um, which is Aquarius. So all, basically all the air signs, because we said the justice, um, which is Libra. I don't remember what the fool is, and I don't remember what judgment it is. Um, but we had, we also had a lot of pinnacles, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a lot of wands, so any of the fire signs. Um, Leo. There we go, double. Oh, I'm not gonna get those. Double Aquarius there. So, yeah. There you go, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, take what resonates, you know. And this can be their sun, moon, or rising, so if you don't see like their sun sign, don't panic. Because um, it, you know, one of these signs could be like their moon or their rising or something, which I always feel like their rising is probably the most important sign to look for. Um, but yeah, because it's such a distinct sign. But yeah, so that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Give me the vibing hot tea on who this person is. Um, if you know who it is. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 350 subscribers before the end of the month. We're almost at 300 by the time that I'm posting this video. Um, follow me on my other social media platforms, the links are down below. Um, if you want a personal reading, I will be putting my Etsy shop, um, down in the description as well. Um, my Etsy shop is the only place that you can get a personal reading from me because these scammers do be scamming. Even though they haven't ap appeared on my channel yet, they've been scamming on other tarot reader channels. Um, so, you know, don't be duped. Um... But yeah, 
Uh, thank you guys so much for letting me read your cards, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, group three. If you picked best girl, Carol Chan, then this is your reading. Um, Carol is my favorite character in the entire show. Um, she's so freaking cute, and <laughs> just the way that she goes about things is so freaking hilarious. Um, I very much identify with her. Um, or at least I want to be like her. She's so freaking cute. Um, but yeah. If you haven't watched um, Toma Chan as a Girl, it's a great anime. Highly recommend it. It's freaking hilarious. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be looking into how your person is feeling about you and made the decision to go with that reading in group one. So we're going to use my first tarot deck to get um, messages on how they feel about you. We'll use the second one to see what their next action will be. Um, we'll use my first oracle, my love oracle, to get additional messages about how they're feeling. Um, like basically a mix of like what they're feeling, how, what actions they're going to take. Um, we'll use the moonology to get uh, zodiac signs and then we'll end the reading with advice with the below the surface oracle. So let's get into it. How are they feeling about group three? How are they feeling about group three? Three, two of swords, three of cups. How are they feeling about three? I already feel like they're trying to make a decision. Um, I've been feeling like you guys are friends. Like maybe you are in the same friend group or something like that. Six of cups. Yeah, like you guys know, have known each other for some time. You've been friends for some time. And they're trying to make a decision on like, should I tell them how I feel? Like you can even see with this Prince of the Cup, she's looking at um, her phone. Like maybe they're looking at their phone like, should I tell this person how I feel? Um, it's almost like a feeling of, I don't know if I should tell them because you know, we've been friends for so long. swords and the nine of cups yeah they feel like they should tell you the truth um, like everything else is going on in their life i feel and so they're just like why not tell you why not tell you like how they actually feel maybe something you know maybe something can come out of this and obviously, maybe it would, because why else would you be turning into this reading, you know? <laughs> um, if you weren't looking to see how they feel about you. Um, Four of Cups. I feel like they're a little bit scared that you won't take their offer. <clears throat> and so that's why they're like, mm, maybe I shouldn't. But they still want to, like, offer you that truth of like, hey, this is how I feel. Um, so let's see, actually, yeah, maybe they, because there's six of wands, but not six of wands, six of swords is under there, um, maybe it's just six of wands, okay, that was six of swords, um, maybe they want to travel to you, like you guys are not close by. So they want to travel to you and tell you in person. They don't want to like do it over the phone or something like that. And so, um, maybe you guys, maybe the two of you are traveling somewhere or they're traveling to you, you're traveling to them, something, something involving travel, um, is when they might tell you or when they're thinking of telling you. But let's see what their action is going to be. What is our next action? Jeez, sweet. What is your next action towards group three? What action are they going to take on these feelings of theirs?
And if you hear a noise in the background, it's me, so. We've got the two pentacles. I'm trying to make a decision. Or is it trying to juggle a lot of things right now? Like, I think they're just juggling this decision. Like, do I tell them, do I not? Do I tell them, do I not? Um, let's see. What are their next actions towards group three? How are they going to act upon these feelings? The devil. They got a lot of, um, mm, mm. <laughs> they've got a lot of feelings they've got a lot of feelings <laughs> um they that they want to act upon like maybe they may take a a little more sexy route when it comes to all of this if you're into that judgment They do, want to, they do feel like a call to action <clears throat> that they need to take. Too many. What are the next actions? Ooh. I'm just fine today. Ace of Wands, yeah. I feel like they're going to take a more passionate approach towards everything, like... Sorry for hitting the mic. Um, like, I feel like they're going to tell you like how passionate they are about you. And there we go. How, like maybe how it's taken them a long time to come to this decision. Or like whether or not they want to tell you how they feel about you. They're really gonna let their masculine energy show to you. Like, like, hey, we know we've been friends for a while, but this is how I can be for you. I feel like that's how, you know, they're taking all of these, these feelings. They're just like, this is how I'm gonna approach it. I'm gonna show you how I can be a divine masculine for you. Ooh, my voice is going out. <clears throat> what other actions are they taking? Any other cards? I'll take from the top. Eight of Wands. So this is not going to happen quickly. They're not going to do this super fast. Um... I feel like they're going to take their time with telling you. I feel like as though to not like scare you off is the feeling I'm getting. Um, they just want, I feel like they just want an opportunity to tell you how they feel. Um, Yeah, they want to give you an option to, like, decide, like, where this goes. Oh, two of cups. They want this with you. They want this par partnership with you. But they, they're going to ultimately give you the decision of, like, where things go. So. And my cats are biting. Sorry about that. But let's see if we can get any additional. Advice, not advice, additional messages about how they feel, their actions, any additional advice about their feelings and actions. I like you. Yeah, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting, wants a date. Yeah, they definitely like you. Um, so, if you have, like, a specific person in mind, um, this is a confirmation. Yes, they do like you. Um, they just don't know how you feel about them back. Oh, engagement ring. Ooh, okay. 
they want to make a commitment for sure so see you talking they want to take you on a date they want to talk to you more i feel like that's all they're looking for in terms of like an opportunity it's like can we just try this just this once like like let's see where this goes let's just try love call paradise yeah they want to give you a call let you know how they're thinking of you um they just want to have like a happiness with you let's see if i can get one more healing heart yeah they really they, i feel like they've done a lot of healing for their heart um maybe because i really do have a feeling like you guys are friends or have been friends or whatever for some time um maybe you know about like a past relationship that they've been in um they've really healed from that relationship or um either that relationship or like just like something they've really healed from some sort of trauma in the past i don't know let's see if we can get any zodiac signs we get the zodiac sign of this person blue moon i believe in the possible not a zodiac sign, but I'll take it. Ooh. We got full moon in Scorpio. We actually have a full moon in Scorpio coming up on May 5th. Um, this video should be up before then, even though this is the time this video time this reading. Um, when I'm filming this, we have a full moon in Scorpio. It's supposed to actually be a, an eclipse, um, the final of the eclipse season. Let's see, full moon, surrender to divine, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Can we get any other zodiac signs, please? Now we have like a lot of cups and swords, so swords are the air signs so gemini libra aquarius and then cups are the water signs cancer scorpio pisces so you can also take those if they resonate sun moon rising and my cat's have the zoomies love that for me any other signs no okay so let's get some final advice about this this here relationship See, what advice do you have spirit for group three what should i do about this person or just in general conscious filtering what are you consuming hold on sorry a roommate came home yeah what are you consuming um make sure that you're being conscious of what you are consuming that could be in terms of media food um beverages etc um you're on the right path keep going through the in-betweens so yeah don't worry about being like is this the right should i go this way you are on the right path don't worry about it let's see life is a marathon don't burn yourself out in one sprint yeah don't rush <laughs> don't feel like you need to rush towards anything um you are doing like i said you're on the right path you're doing the right thing you're doing okay um don't worry so much most is your most significant advantage so yeah if you're worried about any issues or problems that may come up with this um um friendship relationship whatever you have you are at a significant advantage because you have your mind you know you 
are able to make the best decision for yourself and solve any problem that comes along your way so don't be too worried about like oh am i making the right decision you will always be making the right decision for yourself in that moment so don't be too worried about it so yeah that's all that i have for you guys thank you guys so much for letting me um read your cards and for tuning into this video if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up um comment down below tell me how you feel um if this resonated with you um give me the piping on tea if you know who this is um and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm trying to hit 350 subscribers before the end of the month um currently as i'm filming this we're at 295 so so close to 300 so i would appreciate your support um follow me on my other social media so links are down below and if you would like a personal reading um i'll also put the link down to my etsy that's the only place that you'll be able to get a personal reading from me um because these scammers do be scamming um they haven't personally shown up on my channel but they appear on almost everybody every tarot readers channel so be careful don't you know none of these tarot readers are going to reach out to you none no real tarot reader honestly is going to reach out to you for a reading you gotta go to them um but yeah um thank you guys so much again for letting me read your cards and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day